Today, we're discussing foods that can lead to inflammation in the gut and ways to alleviate symptoms and promote gut healing. The symptoms of gut inflammation extend beyond common issues like bloating, gas, constipation, digestive discomfort, or irregular bowel movements. Many individuals suffer from autoimmune diseases such as type 1 diabetes, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, lupus, and multiple sclerosis, many of which are linked to gut inflammation. Autoimmune diseases occur when the immune system mistakenly attacks the body. Surprisingly, about 80% of your immune cells reside in the gut. When we refer to the gut, we primarily focus on the intestines, even though the gastrointestinal tract stretches from the mouth to the rear. Because the gut is intricately connected to the digestive, nervous, and immune systems, any inflammation in the gut can have far-reaching effects on your entire body, affecting aspects like your immune system, brain health, mental well-being, skin health, energy levels, and overall wellness. This underscores the significance of reducing gut inflammation and maintaining gut health. It's important to note that the inflammation we're discussing isn't acute inflammation. Chronic versus Acute Inflammation Acute inflammation is a short-term response that your body initiates when you're injured, exposed to allergens, or fall ill. It typically subsides once the underlying issue is resolved. For instance, if you fall off your bike and bruise your knee, or when you develop seasonal allergies and start sneezing, your body's acute inflammation comes into play. On the other hand, the type of inflammation we're particularly concerned about is chronic inflammation. This is an ongoing, persistent response when your body continually reacts with inflammation due to constant triggers. Chronic inflammation serves as the underlying cause of numerous serious and long-lasting diseases including diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular disease. So, when we refer to gut inflammation, it signifies that your intestines are in a state of persistent inflammation. The next question is how gut inflammation develops. There are two primary ways in which inflammation can occur in the gut. The first method involves an imbalance in your microbiome. What is dysbiosis? Your microbiome is made of a complex community of bacteria, viruses, and fungi residing in your gut. These microorganisms can be either beneficial or harmful. When there's an imbalance with too few beneficial microorganisms, an overabundance of harmful ones, or a combination of both, it results in a condition called dysbiosis. The harmful microorganisms, known as pathogens, can create colonies called biofilms. When your body lacks the beneficial microorganisms or probiotics, often due to poor dietary choices, these pathogens can overgrow and release substances that promote inflammation. Additionally, these biofilms can impede the absorption of essential vitamins and fats that help reduce inflammation. The second way that the gut inflammation can occur is when the single layer of cells that forms your intestinal lining, known as the epithelium, becomes permeable or leaky. In this state, large molecules from the gastrointestinal tract enter your bloodstream, which is not supposed to happen. Your immune system recognizes these molecules as foreign invaders and initiates a chain reaction of inflammation. Normally, the permeability of your gut lining is regulated by tight junctions, which acts as seal between adjacent cells, preventing the leakage of larger inflammatory particles like pathogens, toxic substances, and undigested food. However, these tight junctions can become porous when you don't consume enough foods that support the repair and strengthening of the gut's protective layer, such as bone broth and vitamin C-rich foods like citrus fruits and dark leafy greens, which aid in collagen production. Additionally, the pathogens biofilms can loosen these tight junctions. Gut inflammation manifests with a range of symptoms, both related to the gastrointestinal system and those that affect other parts of the body. The symptoms of gut inflammation can include bloating, gas, or excessive flatulence, acid reflux and heartburn, diarrhea or constipation, nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain or cramping, bloody or unusual tools, unintentional weight loss, sugar cravings and weight gain. Here's non-gut related symptoms, low energy and fatigue, brain fog and mood issues, sleep problems and night sweats, headaches or migraines, skin issues such as dermatitis, psoriasis, or acne, hormonal issues such as Picos polycystic ovary syndrome, joint discomfort and joint issues, and lastly, sniffles and mucus. 
These symptoms reflect the systemic effects of chronic gut inflammation and highlight the interconnectedness of the gut with various other bodily functions. Reducing gut inflammation is essential not only for gastrointestinal health but also for overall well-being. Now, let's dive into the 5 most problematic food ingredients that can trigger inflammation in both the gut and the entire body. Number 1. Processed Sugar Processed sugar includes refined sugar, added sugars like high fructose corn syrup, HFCS, and artificial sweeteners. These sugars can lead to inflammation by promoting the release of inflammatory messengers called cytokines. Additionally, they selectively nourish harmful pathogens in the gut while starving beneficial bacteria and they can damage a protective intestinal barrier. Number 2. Refined Carbohydrates Refined carbs are highly processed grains that lack of fiber and nutrients. These empty carbs can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin, contributing to weight gain, insulin resistance, and inflammation. Examples of refined carbs include white bread, white rice, pastry, and sugary cereals. Opt for complex carbs like whole grains and fiber-rich foods to suit gut inflammation. Number 3. Gluten Gluten, found in wheat, rye, and barley, can contribute to chronic low-grade inflammation even in individuals without celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. A component of gluten called gliadin can increase intestinal permeability, leading to a leaky gut. Number 4. Ultra-processed foods Ultra-processed foods, UPF, are loaded with not only added salt and sugar, but also artificial additives, preservatives, and hydrogenated fats. UPFs, like flavored chips, processed meats, and sugary snacks, disrupt the gut microbiome and weaken the gut barrier. Consuming significant amounts of UPFs has been linked to an increased risk of inflammatory bowel disease. Number 5. Vegetable Oils Vegetable oils, often referred to as refined seed oils, are used for cooking and preserving packaged foods. They contain high levels of polyunsaturated omega-6 fatty acids which can lead to gut irritation and inflammation when they are oxidized by heat and light. Replacing vegetable oils with healthier fats like olive oil and avocado oil can help reduce gut inflammation. It's crucial to avoid or limit these 5 inflammatory food ingredients to promote gut health and overall well-being. Additionally, factors like food sensitivities, chronic stress, Poor sleep, bile flow issues, low stomach acid levels, gut infections, medication use, and excessive alcohol consumption can contribute to harmful gut bacteria and inflammation. If you're seeking supplements to support gut healing, consider options like zinc carcinine, L-glutamine, ginger, and aloe vera. Please note that this information is for educational purposes and does not constitute medical advice. Consult with a healthcare professional for personalized guidance. In conclusion, it's crucial to be mindful of foods and ingredients that can lead to inflammation in the gut and throughout the body. Processed sugars, refined carbohydrates, gluten, ultra-processed foods, and vegetable oils are among the top culprits that can trigger chronic inflammation. These dietary choices can negatively impact gut health and contribute to various health issues. To maintain a healthy gut and overall well-being, it's essential to avoid or reduce the consumption of these inflammatory foods and offer healthier alternatives. Additionally, considering other factors that can affect gut health such as food sensitivities, stress, sleep quality, and medication use is important in the pursuit of a balanced and inflammation-free lifestyle. Remember that while these dietary changes and supplements like zinc, carcinine, glutamine, ginger, and aloe vera can support gut health, it's always advisable to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized guidance and to address specific health concerns. Ultimately, taking steps to reduce inflammation in the gut can lead to improved digestive function, enhance enhanced energy levels, and better overall health. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.